What's up, buddy? Come here. Come here. You know you want to. You know you want to. Come here. How about you? Don't listen to your brother. Don't listen to the lies. Don't do it, man. Don't buy into it. Come on. Let's be friends. You stinkers. You stinkers. You steers are all alike. You know it. You sure are. We're going to be friends before this is over. Yep. Little donk. What's up, buddy? Hi, buddy. Whew, get that fly off your eyes. Get the flies off of there. Yep, I got some more fly spray coming today. Sure do. Lucy. Hi. Hi. You doing okay? Doing all right? Little donk, you want some loving? You want some loving? Come here, buddy. Come here. You stinker. What are y'all doing? Huh? Bruce, 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 let me touch. Woo. Morning, everybody. Chad, how their farms? <laughs> Quite the squad back there. All right, speaking of, let's go feed these alpacas before they get too rowdy. How's everybody doing, by the way? Bruce back there being a chicken. Hang on, let me turn this off. I know y'all can handle it. Get him, Rosie. Get him, Rosie. All right. Whew. Tuna. Snicker. Where's the baby? Huh? Share that baby. Hey, you got something in your mouth. You can't even reach it, so back up. Back up. Nope, look out. Snigger. Whew. All right. We get you another scoop. Hang on a second. All right. Did we give the chickens a little bit? Look at all that dust I wasted. You see that, Mama? All right. You want some? Hmm? I won't be doing that now. There we go. Bruce, we're going to have to get Bruce out of there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Y'all can't have this. Lo siento. Oh, don't be back talking now. You know what you can have? It's a carrot. Huh? Good stuff. But donk you're gonna have to come up here, buddy. Come on. Come on. You better take it. Your brother and sister are gonna get it. Bo. You carrots? Get it, buddy. Get it, buddy. Come on. That kid. Get it, because you're a kid. Actually, you're not. You look kind of old. Your horns say you're old.
All right, for all those of you that were concerned the donkeys weren't getting treats, I was told that the carrots are plenty healthy enough for them. So they can eat those. Not not in excess, but they can certainly have them. See if Bruce gonna eat a carrot. Nope, stepped right over it. Hey, listen. We can try it, but you spit this out the other day. You did. Hey, can you show them your, nope, stay there. Can you show them your pink eye? It's looking kind of blue now. Here, look. Huh? Can you show them? Hmm? Yeah, I'm really sorry you got that. Do you know what it came from? I'm told the neighbor's cows. Woo! Excuse you, that's what you think of the neighbor's cows, huh? I don't blame you. Take it easy, brother. So back in May, May or June, I believe it was, when the Highlands moved out here, Tessie here got pink eye pretty quick. And then we found out that the neighbor's cattle, several farms over, had pink eye pretty bad. So we called the vet, got him some, got her some, oh man, I knew I should have looked it up. LA, LA 300, LA 200. Don't call me out for not knowing. I think there's two different ones. But we got her some LA 300. Hang on, apparently I can't walk, talk, and chew gum at the same time. All right, what's up, buddy? I'm as nervous around him as he is around me still. If you're new here, he tore my bicep somewhere around Easter. Just ran right through me, mowed me right over. That was a good time. What's up guys, before we go any further in today's video, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this video sponsor, ButcherBox. ButcherBox has been with us now, or I should say we've been with ButcherBox, however you want to look at it, long enough that they actually sent us a wedding gift and an engagement gift. And it wasn't just one of their awesome boxes stacked with delicious goodness and farm raised and organic raised beef, chicken, pork, and wild caught fish. We've stayed in contact with them. We've even re-upped our contract because as you guys know, I only work with companies that treat you guys just like they treat me. ButcherBox has an awesome promo this month that we'll talk about here a little bit later. Check the link down in the description if you want to sign up. Woo! Check the water there. Sorry, I got sidetracked for a second. Let's take a phone call. Still with the alpacas. Miss, Ro Miss Rosie's trying to get a drink. All right. Well, I pick up some trash from a mess the donkeys made from a mess that I left. Let's talk a little bit about that pink eye. Back in May or June, I'm not sure. I'd have to look. I was after, it was post-May, I believe. It was post-May. Gary Walker may know, because I know I mentioned it to them. I could look at my notes to the vet. Of course, Ray knows. But pink eye hit the farm because the neighbor's cows a couple farms over had pink eye and it was due to the flies that's how it actually spread as well so it was really nothing i could do there was nothing i could do to avoid it i should say you guys know they are sprayed with fly spray at least a couple times a week i've actually got another bottle coming that'd be my third gallon this year of fly spray with only five head so the fly spray is used regularly and i do not discriminate Everybody gets some. And I'm on my third gallon this year. So, good, bad, or ugly, I did what the vet said. I started getting everybody taken care of. And he said, I'll be shocked if they don't get it. The re I'll be shocked if the other cows don't get it. Meaning Fred, Junebug, and even the Burger Bros. One of them sitting right there. You can always see their white face. So yeah, he was super surprised he said he'd be super surprised if they didn't get it and because of our diligence with it other than telling you guys i know this is the first time you're hearing about it other than telling you guys we were very diligent about it we got our medication immediately this is tessie right here the one with the pink eye we got our medicine immediately we did everything we were told um since then i've checked up with the vet just let him know hey magically 
she can still see. She looks with that eye. See, she can see me and she's not moving all the way around. Yeah, she sees me. So she did not lose total vision in that eye. It's got a little blue in it still. It's kind of how it goes. It'll always be there from what I understand. But I'm very satisfied with our first bout against pink eye. He said we stood about a 50-50 shot. Either everybody's gonna get it because it's pink eye and that's the way it is. Or he said nobody will get it because you're not overloaded here. That's the loudest badonkadonk has ever been. That was pretty funny. So, woo. But everybody's healthy and happy. Nobody else got pink eye. We also, what helped us was we weren't feeding them. Like if you notice, if you go back and look at those videos, there was no grain on the ground. We weren't encouraging them to eat anywhere. We weren't encouraging them to eat in troughs. They didn't have any hay at that time because that's our hay. And that didn't get done until know, a month after the pink eye had already cured. So I'm very, very pleased to report she's gonna be okay. But it was pretty scary and it stinks. You know, when you, from what I understand, from talking to Walker Farm fam and other ranchers, uh, cattlemen, whatever, when you get pink eye, if it's in a steer, sometimes they don't even treat it. Now, I'm not quoting Gary or any specific cattleman, but sometimes you don't even treat it. You just kind of let it run its course because you've already given them antibiotics. You've already given them, you know, shots and vaccines and things like that. And cows do not, I forget what the term is, one of them told me, cows don't actually process vaccines the way you think we do, or antibiotics, I should say. So just because you give your cow a few antibiotics does not mean that you're gonna be eating that in your meat. That's not how it works. So like these steers from Walker Farm Fam, I believe they've had black leg and they've all been worms and definitely a tetanus shot, especially from Mr. Fence Jumper over here, Mr. Usain Bolt. He's watching me right now. <laughs> he thinks he's in trouble. This is his favorite spot. When I'm around, this is what he does. He stands in the trees because he thinks we're going running. What do you think, Bruiser? What do you think, buddy? Man, they're getting pretty big, but over there in that other, my neighbor's herd, this guy looked like a little fella. It was pretty impressive. Oh, and by the way, I've got an opportunity to buy a red Hereford steer. Hereford, I may do it. Just to have one more head. Because we've already got the hay, why not? Little donk, what's up, buddy? You've never been a fan of the fly spray, ever. But you did get quite a bit when Pink Eye hit the farm, didn't you? I took real good care of you. Your ears looking good. Not everybody knows that you lost your lost part of your ear in a fight or a scuffle before you got here. You showed up with scars all over your nose. You were pretty rough. I was like, oh man, that's a tough old boy. These are all old. He was running with, I think, 50 or 60 head on about 200 acres, and his mom and his dad. He was a tough old boy, but from what I hear, he was trying to get back with his mom, or at least assert dominance on his mom, and of course, you don't want that, so. He was actually delivered to us. The guy had to get him off his farm. But man, he's just been awesome. Hey, man, come here, I'm sorry. You can't stand at his side. He thinks you're trying to trap him. Woo! So anyway, I'm happy to report. Pink Eye has left the farm this season, as far as we know. Nothing wrong there. And somebody mentioned this hay being all over here. You're going to spread wherever that hay came from. It's going to be in your pasture. Da -da -da. That hay came from right here. So I'm not spreading anything new, that's for sure. Hey, where's y'all's boyfriend go? Where's Fredo? Let's take a little cruise. I bet he's already gone skinny dipping. Man, this rooster right here. That's the one we call Ninja. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, I gotta, we got we gotta check something, hang on. 
Get a good look at that bird. You guys need some water. Oh, ladies need some water. Excuse me, pardon me. Yesterday, I found an egg that was the smallest egg I have ever seen. She's broody, by the way. Real broody. Hang on. She's determined to hatch something. Yeah, back to my story. Yesterday, I found an egg. And I wish I'd taken a picture of it. I sincerely apologize. I did not. It was the size of a dime. Now, I've heard of that being referred to as like a fairy egg, but it had a full shell. It wasn't like a partial shell. Sometimes those fairy eggs, it's, it's just the membrane around the yolk. Let's look in here. This is getting cleaned out this weekend, by the way. I truly mean that. You guys hold me accountable. It's happening. We're putting linoleum down too. Stick this back in here. By the way, still love this coop door. Love it. Not only is this red, white, and blue, but it keeps you, 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 and you safe. But yeah, if I get that fairy egg again, I made a mistake. I sincerely apologize. I fed it to him. I've seen one before, but never with a hard shell. And the reason I said pay attention to that specific chicken, where'd it go? Where'd Ninja go? Oh, she's already walked off on us. So that's one of the roosters Walker Farm Fam gave us. And these birds right here, all of these birds have been laying for over a year, except for that one. If it's not a rooster, that was highly possible that was her egg. Or it could have just been some deficiency in one of the other birds trying to make an egg. So anyway, if we see it again, I'll be sure and show you guys. I feel bad. I shouldn't have tossed it. It was super cool. But I didn't realize it didn't have a membrane on it. Like I just thought it was a fairy egg and I picked it up and I tossed it. And as soon as I tossed it, I was like, oh no, that had a shell. I mean, it was like that big. How big is a dime? That big. Sorry for the beard sweat. I left my horse over here. AKA the steel horse with four wheels. Let's go see what Fred's doing. I think he's swimming. Man, yesterday, you guys would be proud of me. I drove all over the farm and I just picked stuff up. Trust me, it may not look like it, but I was out here for an hour, about an hour and a half, just picking up old tarps and trash and stuff that's blown over in random storms. Man, here's a good little oak tree I hope makes it. That's a pin oak. The donkeys have done a number on it, but we're gonna let her ride. Yeah, just picked stuff up. We still got some burn piles. It's a work in progress. If you've never done anything like this, you don't even know. There he is. Fredo. You want some company? He totally knows his name, by the way. Totally knows his name. Now, as you guys know, it takes about three years to grow out of Highland. And even still, they're not like, you know, 1,800 pound Angus cows. But that water can't be a foot deep. There's no way, which is pretty scary. We need some rain and we need some rain now. Pretty scary. See the tires back. Oh, there's a turtle hanging out on it too. We're gonna let him be kind of a cute little guy. I don't think he's running down any of the big bass in here. Whew. Yeah. The next move is to put that post out here. I'm just waiting on a set of waders. 
I don't know if Fred will help me or not. It'd be nice, but quick question for some of you trappers. This, I was all over it yesterday, stomping around a little bit. Didn't see any snakes, so I think I'm okay with doing this again. We'll find out here in a minute. I'm big and brave, right? Daddy, can we go back there? Back there? Uh-huh. What about snakes? You scared of snakes? No, I'm not. What if Daddy's scared of snakes? Oh, but you're big and brave. But you're big and brave, Daddy. That's right, I am. Oh, frog. Oh, frog. Golly, man. I peed a little. But for those of y'all that have dealt with the almighty beaver, or nutria, or mink, or muskrat, or whatever else makes these giant holes, what do I do? There's a snake. Boy, that's a big old black snake. This is beaver evidence, right? What else would that be? I can tell you right now, you could probably put two basketballs in that opening. That's how big that is. There's two more right there. Do I just load those with some tannerite? Give her the old heave ho, or will that ruin my dam? Let me know. I'm gonna get out of here before Mr. Snakey Snake decides he wants to sunbathe on this island. Fred and the girls love that mimosa tree. And the chickens stir up all the dung underneath it. <laughs> it's been like an hour since we chatted, I've been sitting here editing. There's proof, there's my iPad. I may have had a monster or four. Just kidding, Ray, I didn't really drink four of them. But let me talk to you more about today's sponsor, Butcher Box. And yes, I'm out here by myself, enjoying myself, and I'm gonna grill myself a grass-fed ribeye steak from Butcher Box. This month's promo actually runs from August 25th to September 22nd can get you winner winner incredibly delicious chicken for dinner get the MVP weeknight meals for free for a year butcher box is giving new members two pounds of chicken breast for free in every box sign up today you'll thank yourself later now about this ribeye and everything else butcher box now you might be wondering why a family that raises their own beef chooses to work with a company like butcher box the answer is simple this is deliciousness and it just shows up at your door the simple truth is, and I've said this before, and you know, some of my friends work at ButcherBox, so all the claims about ButcherBox are absolutely true. I fully believe in them. I raised two steers last year, grass-fed, barely grain-finished, barely. Ray, my beautiful wife, <coughs> who you guys know and love, prefers the ButcherBox over my own grass-fed steers. Taco Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, except it's Wednesday, Chili Friday, she won't eat it unless there's butcher box. She'll eat the bison, she'll eat the grass-fed beef, she'll eat the pork, the undercut belly bacon. Oh man, that's deliciousness right there. She can tell the difference. I don't know what I'm doing, W-R-O-N-G, but more for me, that's all I know. But anyway, we love butcher box. I hope you guys do too. Please check the link down below. Yes, I used this knife to actually uh, open that package. This knife is also baited a raccoon trap with a raccoon. Actually, a cowboy cut one of the beefy boys, if you know what I mean, snip, snip. Uh, but yeah, every now and then I touch the grill with it so it heats up, gets hot, and kills the germs. But like I said, the promo this month is chicken. Through August 25th through September 22nd, you can get two pounds of chicken breast delivered to your door in every box. Once a month. No antibiotics ever. Non-GMO. All the healthy good stuff. Tons of outdoor access. Hey, that's a big one. You can't make that claim if you don't do it. Now, I'm not cooking them on the grill because my family actually loves to mix these with like your box dinners. I mean, imagine... Call me out if you want here, but box dinners, it's not like those are that bad. It's usually just a few spices, some noodles, some dry pasta you heat, then you eat, but you always add some meat to it. My family loves this, loves it. This chicken breast right here, it is the one and only thing that our middle son, Carter, 
will eat with those box dinners. He absolutely loves them and never complains. Everything else we make, I'm about spicy, something not butcher box, all that good stuff, okay? So trust me, if you got a picky eater in the house, or if everybody just wants to eat a little bit healthier, check out ButcherBox. Link down below. It helps this channel more than you know, and ButcherBox has stood with us for a very, very long time, and we're forever grateful. And I hope she doesn't mind, but our contact there, Hannah, y'all go tell her howdy down in the comments below. What's up, Hannah? Thank you. If you know somebody in your life who would appreciate something like this, gift it to them. You can actually sign up, and then around the holidays, if you'd like, you can just redirect one of your boxes to a family member. Throw something in, order them a custom one, and then, especially if you're a new member, you can take advantage of the promo when you place that order. So what I'm saying is don't sleep on butcher box, man. It is amazing. Woo, baby. So don't tell Ray, but this is one of her ribeyes that actually we tell Hannah to put in every box. And Ray's not here. She's at work. The boys are at school. And I'm about to eat the ribeye. It's amazing. Woo. Yep, you guys can call me out. Caveman did way worse. That's my table, and let's be honest, I'm not that far off from a caveman. <laughs> or my gersh. Or my gersh, or my gersh. Hey, no, Ninja, no, get away. No, back up, I'll put you on the grill. You see these? That could be you someday. Take it easy. What's up? I'm back home. Speaking of chickens, our new friends, which we've mentioned, John and Catherine at Old Reading Farm, they actually raise chicken eggs. <laughs> they raise chickens, which lay eggs. They don't lay eggs. They raise eggs. You're messing me up, Goose. Quit staring at me. They have some crazy fancy chickens, like Polish chickens. They were like, hey, would you guys like to hatch? some of these eggs and i was like absolutely so look at this this is good i love if, if you didn't know olive eggers are my favorite so here's an olive egger here oh that's that's i don't even have an egg that color open this up i've got my nurture rat 360 running let's just get these started okay got an olive egg a jubilee orpington i don't even know what some of these are i'm gonna have to look them up i had them label them for me because i knew you guys would want to know uh oh dropped the tag Dolce Bantam. I butchered that. No way. Look at the little baby egg. It says, <gasps> no way. They sent us an AM Samani egg. Oh man, I'm so excited. So if you guys have been with the channel long, we have a rooster who is an AM Samani. His name is Magneto. And we left him at mom and dad's farm when we bought those 20 acres here in Oklahoma because he already free ranges there. He's very established. He really does roam probably the whole four or five-ish acres plus mom and dad's land. So super excited. Oh, man, that's cool. We have some of Magneto's offsprings. We have some hens that lay blue eggs, actually. But they're crossed. They're crossed with a, it's an AM and a cream leg bar. That's how we got blue eggs. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. We actually have AM Samani eggs now. Uh, there's another Bantam. So John and Catherine actually sell these eggs on eBay. And I'll see if I can get them to give me their eBay link or maybe an eBay handle. So that way, if you guys want, you can order these eggs too. I'll also link down the video down below where they show off all their crazy chickens. Now he threw in some extras, which is pretty typical when you order online. I'm sure he knew that. Crested black Polish. Oh, I got a Polish. Oh, I'm gonna hatch a Polish. I'm Mary Carl. Who dis? That's another one. A what? Tolbut, Tolbunt, Polish. Yep, I graduated. A birch and coach and bantam. Oh my goodness, look at this egg. <laughs> look at that. Check them out. All right. Oop, I gotta reset that. We'll do that later. It needs to say 21 days. 21 days to make a chicken hatch, in case you didn't know. So I left two Jubilee Orpingtons out. And here's why. It's not that I don't like them. John said he was going to send two extras in case USPS broke one, which they didn't, which is amazing. But it's probably because of John and Catherine's packaging. Because let me tell you, I've ordered a lot of eggs. Ducks, guineas, quail, chickens off eBay. And I don't think I've ever received a box. Certainly not two dozen with no broken eggs. Now, I might be able to double up some of those Bantam eggs and get them to turn, but I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, these Jubilee Orbingtons, I've never had them, but I've had a white speckled Sussex, 
which looks like it. So I'm gonna let that broody hen we have hatch those Jubilee Orpington. But here's the ones that we're going to hatch here at the house. Look at that. So I was gonna post pictures of each one of the chickens here so you guys can see what they look like. But what I'd rather do is have you guys go watch John and Catherine's channel and I'm gonna link the one of all their chickens right below. Plus if I start Googling some of these chickens and we get some Google images, then you gotta worry about copyright because I don't own the image, you know how it goes. That's it for today's video guys. Huge shout out to ButcherBox. Without companies like that and without you guys trusting us to show you companies like that, we cannot do what we do day in and day out. Sincerely thank each and every single one of you. Huge shout out to Catherine and John for all the eggs. 21 days, we'll show them off. But other than that, the house is quiet. I'm the only one here other than the two little doggos. And in case you guys didn't know, because we don't show them off very much, or at least I don't, this is Goose. He's the littlest dog we have, but he has no idea he's little. No idea. With that said, y'all be good. Don't work too hard. Don't make it weird. Dude, I just saw what you were doing in the backyard with that tongue. Please don't make it weird. God bless. Deuces. Gooses. Yeah.